Consumer robot pioneer iRobot is at it again. Welcome back to Text to Nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. With us from iRobot is Director of Floor Care, Warren Fernandez. Hi, Warren. Hi, Fred. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me on the show. Great to see you. And you've announced some new robots. Let's start with one called the Roomba Combo J9 Plus. Give us the features here. Absolutely. So uh, we are introducing actually our new flagship series of robots. Uh, there's actually two robots. Um, one is called the Roomba Combo J9 Plus, and then it's got a sibling robot that is the Roomba J9 Plus. And the way I think your listeners could probably best think about these robots is they're sibling products. One of them is what we call a two-in-one, which means it is a robot that can both vacuum and mop uh, your entire home. And then its sibling product, the J9 Plus, is a vacuum specialized robot. So if you're somebody who uh, primarily wants a, a vacuuming only experience, we've got a product for you. But if you're interested in this new exciting category of two-in-one robots that can vacuum your entire home, hard floors and carpets and rugs, as well as mop all of your hard floor surfaces, uh, it's the Combo J9 Plus. And talking just a little bit more about that Combo product, one thing that's particularly innovative is we've adopted what we call an auto retract mopping design with this series of robots. And so what that means is the one robot is actually can literally clean your entire home. And let's say you've got a mix, right, of hard floor surfaces and carpets and rugs. Clearly, you're going to want to vacuum that entire home, but you're only going to want to mop the hard floor surfaces. The way that our robot is designed, it will actually deploy the mopping pad uh, only when it needs to. And it will securely stow it on the top of the robot uh, when it's on a carpet or rug surface, which is going to make sure that your carpets and rugs stay nice and dry and clean. Um, but then when you do get to a hard floor surface, you're going to see the, the, the auto mopping pad kind of deploy down. It's almost like a, a roof on a convertible car or something like that. It's going to automatically extend, deploy to the bottom of the robot. And now you've literally got one solution with one button press it's our smartest, most powerful robot to date, and it can clean your entire home. So we're really excited about it. And how does it deal with the debris and the dirty water? For sure. So um, when you think about debris, first of all, let's talk just a brief moment about dry debris, right? So this is the things it's going to be sucking up, you know, when it's vacuuming your home. And similar to our other Roombas to date, uh, we provide a docking solution that is capable of automatically sucking up all of that dry dirt and debris. And it's got a vacuum bag uh, built into the product. It's a, it's, a, it's a very clean, easy, hygienic solution, and it can hold up to two months of dry debris in that bag. Now this new Combo J9 Plus, our newest flagship two-in-one, uh, it also has the ability to give you up to one month of water refill capabilities. So now again, in addition to that two months of dry debris removal capability, this newest product, you can get a full month of water tank refills. So again, this notion of having the, the one robot that can vacuum and mop your entire home, we've essentially got a completely hands-free experience that gives you one month of water refills and up to two months of dry debris removal. And you, you would be emptying the dirty water uh, as, as needed or? So actually this is, this is an important distinction about our products versus other products in the industry. We wanted to actually think about the total customer experience. And, and you've mentioned dirty water and dirty water per its name, right? It's dirty. It's not going to smell very good. It's something that if you allow it to sit in a tank for an extended period of time, it's going to develop some grime and smells that are not going to be very pleasant, right? To have to, uh, to maintain and upkeep. And that is something, by the way, the human would have to do, not the robot. So the solution that we've actually introduced here, Fred, is it's focused on the water refill experience. And what that means is the tank in the dock, the only two things that would ever go in that tank is clean water or mopping solution. And why is that important? It's important because over time with extended use, right? Let's say you're using this robot for weeks and months and years. We want to have the minimum amount of user upkeep possible. We want it to be as close to a genuinely hands-free experience as we can. So actually our dock design is not going to store dirty water. Instead, what we're leveraging is our robot, the mopping pad is actually placed on the top of the robot when it's not in use. 
And this is important because it means that with one simple flip up of a panel, the user can with one hand literally pop out the mopping pad uh, and then they're gonna properly wash it either by hand or in your washing machine. Um, because the other thing that we want to make sure is not only do we want to keep the dock clean, we want consumers to have confidence that the pad is actually being washed properly. And so what we believe is the best pad washing experience is when you're either washing it yourself or popping it in your washing machine. Um, the way our robot is designed, it is so incredibly easy to pull one pad out, put another pad in. And we do, by the way, provide multiple pads in box. So we recognize, right, that, you know, as consumers are swapping one out, they want to have another one right there at their fingertips to put in. Um, our dock is set up to support that. And again, we think it's going to be a very just clean, hygienic, easy um, pad wash experience. Very smart. And uh, so you have the J9 Plus, which does not have the mopping capability, and Correct. then the, the, the combo unit. Are there differences between the J9 Plus and the and the vacuuming capability of the combo, or they're identical? Dry cleaning capabilities are completely shared, which is why I do think of them as kind of flagship sibling robots. It's simply to say, if you're a user and your primary interest is vacuuming, uh, you may want to consider that J9 Plus. But in terms of its power, its intelligence, the things it can do, uh, it is fully capable. Um, it, it's equally capable with our Combo J9 Plus product. The deltas are quite literally around the mopping experience only. So if you want the mopping experience, we do with that 30 days of water tank refill capability. We're, of course, going to recommend you consider the Combo J9 Plus robot. But if you're really just interested in, in the best in class possible vacuuming specialized experience, it's going to be that J9 Plus robot. Well, let's talk a bit about the intelligence and the way these navigate around the rooms in your home. And and I guess you've come a long way over the years. We certainly have. And I mean, we continue to be best in class with our vision-based navigation. And it is vision-based. And this is important, right? Because you want to have a robot that is actually smart enough to know what is it looking at, right? So you may see other products out there in the market. There, there, there's uh, laser-based robots, for instance, are, are quite quite popular nowadays. But you know, a laser-based solution fundamentally will not know, cannot know what it's looking at. It's simply detecting there's an object in front of me, but I don't know if this object is something I should avoid or if it's something I should actually clean up. And so with our, our latest J series of robots, including this new flagship J9 lineup, it's a vision-based navigation system. We recognize over 80 common household objects, and we're able to know if it's something, let's say, such as pet waste or cords and cables on the floor, uh, maybe a sock that you happen to leave out in your bedroom. And we know to avoid those objects, but at the same time, we know which objects we should actually clean up, such as, let's say, a small pile of popcorn that may have fallen off your plate, you know, in your kitchen or uh, a pile of dirt as you were taking your shoes off in your mudroom, uh, the robot is actually going to be smart enough to know which ones to clean up, which ones to avoid. And it's something, uh, Fred, that we just continue to be best in class and we continue to innovate in. That's terrific. And you do have some new software that you're calling uh, OS 7 here. That's uh, correct. Tell yeah, us about so uh, what's new here. For sure. So iRobot OS is quite simply, it's the intelligence that underlies our entire robot fleet. And it is really an OS. I mean, I, I, I'd want your listeners to think about it the same way they think about an OS on a personal computer or maybe on a smartphone. Um, it's something that ensures the robots get smarter and better over time, right? So as part of our new iRobot OS 7.0 release, we've got two hero experiences that we're talking about. The first is called Dirt Detective. This is a brand new feature. It's exclusive to our J9 flagship series, both the combo uh, product and the vacuum specialized robot. And Dirt Detective, quite simply, is a feature that allows users to automatically have the robot automatically detect the kinds of rooms that are in their home. Uh, um, so it will know, for instance, what is a kitchen versus what is a living room versus what is a bedroom. And then it will actually be smart enough to program an optimized cleaning routine. And that's going to be both in the order of room cleaning, as well as the types of cleaning settings it's applying on a per room basis. And the beautiful thing about this feature is, Fred, it literally just works very seamlessly in the background. The user doesn't have to do any special setup. 
as you're simply running a few normal missions, the robot is going to be collecting data about your home. It's going to develop this customized routine. And then it's going to ask you, would you like for me to start using this customized routine to clean your home moving forwards? So the goal is to just have the robot kind of fade into the background. It's smart enough. It's reliable enough that you can trust it to just simply get its job done. Um, the second feature that we're talking about with iRobot OS, OS 7.0, we're calling it Smart Scrub. And it's specifically for our combo mopping robots. And it's it's the, the best analogy I can give you is if you imagine the way a human might clean a stain on the floor, imagine you're holding a, 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 a pad and you're kind of scrubbing back and forth with this back and forth motion. Our robot is now actually able to emulate that exact kind of motion. So it's a special deep scrub mode. It can either be turned on automatically by that, that dirt detective feature I was just speaking about, or the user can set it manually. And it will essentially allow the robot to give absolutely best in class deep scrubbing capabilities. And it's something, you know, you might want to, let's say, set for when it's cleaning your bathroom, right? Or your kitchen or somewhere where you're really going to want to have that, that, that vigorous back and forth kind of elbow grease motion. Uh, we've now got the robot smart enough to be able to apply it. And, and one quick comment on that smart scrub feature, coming back to the notion of this is an OS, it underlies our whole fleet. Um, we're actually pretty proud to be able to not only release this new smart scrub feature on the Combo J9 Plus, we're actually gonna be rolling it out over the air to our Combo J7 Plus customers as well. So let's say you bought a robot from us a year ago, you've been using that robot, we're now gonna be giving you a completely new feature for free at no charge. Um, it's simply something we deliver over the air and I would say it's another proof point of our long-term commitment to our user base. Just terrific. For more info, where do we go, Warren? So uh, I'd recommend going to uh, irobot.com. You can read a ton more about our new product launches there. We've got other products as well, part of the bigger Roomba family. I always encourage folks, do their research, right? Make sure you're picking a company and a robot that is going to stand behind their products. And we've got a lot of different products at a lot of different price points. So I think depending on your listeners' needs, I'm confident that we're going to have the perfect robot for them. And you've been at it for a long time. We have. We've got more than 30 years of experience. We've got 40 million plus robots in the field. Um, and yet we still see so many opportunities, Fred, to enrich and develop this industry. Colin, our CEO, is committed to it. The entire company is lined up behind him. And again, we, we're, we're really hopeful for the future of the industry, and, and we can't wait to get more people joining the Roomba family. Terrific. Warren Fernandez, thanks for spending time with us. All right. Thank you, Fred. Appreciate your time.